Oh yeah, just showing you something here. These little babies, I don't know if you can see through all of this. But when I disturb them, they move right down there on the back. See there? See there? See there? See just on the other side, but in. I don't want to go upsetting them all. Because they're not. Oh, there it is. There. There. Up in this corner. And up. If you can see that one. There. Where it is. Obviously, you can see that one down there at the bottom. They'll get a bit upset. But I've got a heat mat against the wall. And I'm placing them. About what's that? Twenty mil away. Keep the humidity up. Another drink. I'm giving them the option of heat or no heat, and as you can see, the majority have decided heat. There's a giant orange knee. A female. She's bang on the heat, but she's got the choice to come back here. There is. I think that's the male orange knee. Yeah. I see better using the camera than my own eyes. Here's my Colbert Blue. Never ever get to see him. Huh? Well, it is a Brazilian black up heat mat. And the next one's my Indian Alderman. Oh, it's not meant to be in this one, but I'm waiting to move it. Again, up against the heat mat. So have a look at what's going on up here. These ones I've just pulled away from the heat. And that likes to burrow underneath the heat end. That's a salmon pink. Again, leaving it a fair way away from the heat. Ooh. That one's going to move before you probably get to see where it was. It's a curly hair. She's gone. But she was up the heat end. There's me Vegas or red rump. Again, dug all the soil out. And staying in that end of the pot. I don't want to like go opening them all because as soon as I open them, they're all bolt out somewhere else anyway. Here we have a little hammer eye. Yeah, again on the heat side. Put you there, nice little gap. You are oh, another red rump. Probably in its den, can't see it, but I'm sure earlier it was up against that. Just get frustrated now. And the rose grey just going back, just in the water there. Emptied its water it out, digs everything up. But not trying to make a point, just trying to point out that given the option. And they're only getting a little bit of heat mat there, look. And they've still got a good 20, 20 mil gap between the heat mat. But my point is, when I come out here and I check on them, they're always up. Oh. Oh, it's my rosa. Right. I never get close enough. Right. I haven't disturbed these ones yet. Pumpkin, crap, a good idea to tread on that. Whoa, pardon me. It's a striped knee. It's in the middle, a little baby. 
where we used to call his Costa Rican something or other, Costa Rican striped knee. The Smithy boy. What does he want? Heat or no heat? He loves his heat. He's at that end. This is my pumpkin packs that I've only just acquired this weekend. It's a Sunday and today's Saturday. Dug a hole out with my fingers and it's got in there and decorated it. Starting to make it look a bit look more like home. But probably in pre-malt. So I'm not seeing a lot of action from that at the moment. And another Brazilian black is where are you oh they're coming out having a wander around going down to the heat like i say i'm not trying to say i'm right you're wrong or anything like that but it just frustrates me when people say you know if you're comfortable they'll be comfortable with the temperatures and you don't need heat mat and some people are saying they don't even use heat mat I'm not having a crack at you guys but I'm just saying I'm looking how they behave now this one's got a choice of being away from the heat it's my Metallica male which I'm going to have to find something to do with Actually, the colour looks better with my own eyes than through the camera. But he prefers the heat and a bee on it. He's got a lovely tube. Don't go in the tube anymore. Not eating anymore. To be fair, we've only had him about two, three months. My wife brought him as uh, sold as a female. My wife, not being experienced enough, took the say so of the seller. I'm just spinning around to show her that I've got one cricket down the bottom here. Put in there yesterday or the day before. And this little bugger, been in there a while now. Couldn't get it out without the pee wanting to get out. The pee getting out. Don't take the pee out. No. But again, I can't get them flush up against the heat anyway. So I can't get them any hotter because I've got a little bit of wood up the top here that the lid's hitting up there. So it can't go flush up against it. And this, my sun tiger. One of them ones that I brought it. See it when I brought it. Looked absolutely beautiful. Made this little home up for it. it was a drinks dispenser. Put a log in the middle there. And it has totally webbed everything and thrown earth over everything to hide its webbing. And I don't see it at all. But there's fresh poo on the bottom there. So I know it comes out. Again, this is how, right from when I started collecting them, this is how I've been keeping them. Brazilian black's gone right up onto the back there, up against the heat mat. On it, on it, that one's on it. And she's on it. Oh, Mexican half and half. It's quite active tonight. Hardly moved when I got her. Can't see where she is. Let's have a look at her. And the other thing is, if I notice that they don't want any of the heat or they're not on the heat and there she is right down the bottom they don't want the heat 
I take them further away from the heat. She's right over the back there. I'll keep her a little bit further away from the heat. Love to know what to do with that. It's a centipede brought for my son. Got her have one, Dad. Love to know if I could keep her in something with somebody else or with something else. Oh, I'm just getting everything that was up on the shelf's been thrown out now. Got a nice tank here. I'm just wondering what to do with that. I just want to do something with them every day. I check their water, but they like being left alone. So hello. Just going to make up some more of these. I know people say orbitals not to use them lids because they like to web up against the lid, and if you open it, you're breaking the webbing and upsetting them. Well, she hasn't put no webbing up there and I try to keep anything tall a little bit shy of the top like this I've cut it short so there's plenty of webbing on there but there's no webbing actually touching the top and if they do start touching the top with their webbing or want to web the top then I'll end up trying a different kind of home where I'm opening further down where I've got a, a door down here or, or something instead of there And to be fair, I've only just started collecting arboreals. Got to get them insects out of there, but at the moment he's not eating anything, and I think them guys are clearing up anything that is edible. Let's tilt the camera just to show you. The Smithy male, he's on the heat. I'd say out of all of them, the majority, 90% are on the heat. I'll repeat myself again. I am not having a crack at people that don't have heat mats. What I'm saying is I use heat mats and the people that don't say that they're happy not to have the heat. I can't see that because they're not being offered it. When I'm offering them the heat, they're on the heat. So... I think they're happier on the heat than not on the heat. And also don't don't ever sit your tea on top of the heat mat. And this is what a foot away this end and I can't feel any there's no heat from that end. And I've noticed as well the way these holes have all been drilled, see the condensation in some of them are pretty high. Because like this one's only got tiny little holes there, see? And on the side they've got tiny little holes like that, but there. And then we've got the same on the other end. These have got quite big holes and holes on the top as well. This end and that end. So that's got a lot. So that's got a little bit of condensation build up on one part. This one's got tiny little holes on this end. And it's got condensation halfway across the top. This one could be similar to that one. Might just be a little bit drier. I like a bit of moisture in there with them. That one's got loads of little holes I drilled in it and it's well condensated up, but no condensation where the holes are. There, but the one that has thrown me <coughs> my pumpkin, I put holes along the back and along the front, and also along the top, but where the heat mat is, and there's next to no condensation humidity on her. Where there's another one where I've put the holes on the side and on the top, there's plenty of condensation. So I don't know, it's just trial and error. No 
don't think there's any hard rule because I don't think when you write a book you can get everyone to be the same heat the same size container the same kind of moisture so personally I think you're just better off trial and error see who likes what who's comfortable the majority of them are handleable no one's really having a crack at me apart from blue the smurf I'd like to see that again, but I ain't. I've handled the Sun Tiger, that was by default. Took it out of the other box, wash up my arm. Yeah, that's my little collection, and that's just my opinion on uh, heating. They prefer it. I have got a radiator in here, but we hardly ever have it on anyway. And it's just the safest place to have because of my children. Not that they come out playing with them. Not doing this for any likes or anything like that. I'm doing this because this is real. I'm not playing up for anyone. I'm not promoting anybody. And I wouldn't do that. I ain't going to sell out. I'm just going to stay true to who I am. And I'm going to carry on doing what I do. People might criticise what people will criticise. They're going to find loads wrong. Like that. I didn't think that was right. Didn't look that big when I put him in there. But now he looks massive. When I put him in there, he was in a log. He stayed in the log for a while. And ever since, he's been out. These little ones are moving up into this next size pot and that one's moving up into that size pot and when they look big enough, sub-adult I guess, they go into these pots. That's something I'm very aware of with my collection, that all of these little ones, so I've got 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, are going to eventually end up in the largest containers. So. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to get five there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm going to probably run out of room to have them all in them size pots. But then I might just bring on these little ones to sub adults because people don't want to pay five, ten, fifteen quid for a sling. They'd rather pay 40, 50, 60 for something that's given them the well factor. And when it's that size, they're probably more confident with it because it's more likely going to survive. But I enjoy the sling to about the three year old age. Saying that I've got my, this is my red leg gone. She must be in this one. Yeah, that's my red leg. I had the tiniest one I've ever had and she's massive now. I won't get shot of her because I've had her five, six years. But that's what I I do with spiderlings. I bring them on, get them to a nice size, and then sell them again. And I get paid money. I don't make a profit on it. But I get all the enjoyment because the best part of owning a tea is from sling up to sub-adult, I guess. Because you get the most molting feeding you get to see a lot more of their behavior and then people are happy to pay for on that size with left life left on them like i did with that pumpkin it's the only part i went out to the sub uh, brighton and said i was only going to buy a pumpkin and uh, that was the only one that was there from portsmouth tarantulas and uh, she's been mated. They only live between up to eight and ten years. I don't know how old she is now. If she's matured, probably three to four years old. And they had a ex sex. She must be at least five, six years old. But I have no idea. Yes, yeah, so I've paid 30 quid for her, which I think is reasonable. But I don't know if I'm going to have her for one, two, three, four or five years. But surely you're better off taking a chance with the slings. Pay five to ten quid for something. 
and if only we're up to 30 years with it. There we are. Why waffle? And that's from, I'm just an old git. We're doing it my way. Criticise me, put me down, do whatever. <coughs> but I love my teeth. And if I thought I was doing them any harm, I think I would have seen the results of them being uncomfortable. And I would have stopped it. And the other thing is, this always happens. I didn't intend to buy another Brazilian black. I got that one there I got from Dartford when I collected the pair of uh, giant orange knees, Smithies. And then I got one from Maidstone when I, my wife bought that one home from Maidstone when she got the Metallica. So we've ended up with two of them. I won uh, a B Vegan or Red Rump at Brighton on the raffle. I'd already got one. I didn't want to bring back another one, but I couldn't resist it. A stuffed toy or another Vegas at that size, vegan, vegan, vegan at that size. I was going for that one. I, I'll probably end up selling one of them. I got three Smithies from a tiny little sling to one in a pot that size to another pot that size. Uh, yeah, so I got some doubles. And I got me Mexican half and half in the bottom there. Look, I love that one. I don't know why. Just out of three of them, I just decided I loved that one the most. Can't see it that well. But I've got two more slings in there that I'll be selling at some point. Just trying to cover the costs of bringing them on. But definitely not for profit, for fun and enjoyment and just learn about them and we managed a lot pretty well before the internet come along it just seems now the internet's come along a lot of people have got their opinions and anyone can be an expert because they own one or they read about one I ain't no expert just love my teas I'm calling this one the spider's point of view. Bye.